Hello fellow adventurers and welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to rank every element in Genshin Impact. From Pyrot to Dendro we'll explore their strengths, weaknesses and overall usefulness as well as fun and I'm going to add my opinion based on the released character for each element. Now disclaimer, this is just my opinion on the element itself. For the record I have a main in each element and I tend to play with each and every of my characters. I'm not a meta slave, I enjoy the game for the fun of it. This tier list is not based on any meta. Now, before we start, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more content like this. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Alright, the first element on the list is Pyro, the element of fire, the fiery power. This is the most devastating element on its own as its characters succeed at dealing destructive amounts of damage. Combine with Electro to add a TNT barrel under your enemy's feet to literally blow them into outer space. While if you add a Hydro, yes literally water, so not only you burn them alive but you can now boil them for maximum efficiency. Cryo basically does the same thing with melt so yeah. Yes, they just draw the short end of the stick, huh? And my favorite characters from this element must be Hu Tao. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl. I know, I know. Even though I tend to use all the characters that I own, I still have favorites. Don't judge me. I'll put the pyro element in A. Although I like the element, it still doesn't have that satisfying oomph that I love. Plus, if you attack enemies while on grass, you will literally take damage. So you have to keep that in mind. <sighs> Next, we have the speedy element, the electric surge, Electro. Now, Electro is best used for crowd control and AoE attacks, but with the addition of Dendro, their reaction changed the game, where characters like Keqing, Mummy 1, Mummy 2, and all the mummies out there became more useful and straight up overpowered. I do love this element in all of its glory, but I still can't give it the maximum rank, so I'll have to stay under Pyro in B. I mean, Keqing in this element and her team with Nahida, the Traveler, and Kokomi is literally making the game easy, but on its own, the element doesn't have that much to it, really. Alright, let's continue with Anemo. Now, Anemo is literally my favorite element. I always loved wind, the freedom it gets, and the crowd control it can offer. With Kazoha, that can easily group all kinds of enemies, Venti, that can create a freaking black hole, and Wanderer, Akira in my case, that stays above everything. He can fly. In a game where no one can fly, this guy can break everything, and I mean everything, by flying. A better god than the god itself. However, damage-wise alone is saved by one true character, one true Yaksha, Zhao. This element is only movement, crown control, other element buffing, but the only one that really deals damage, the only one that saves it with its high damage output alone, and with its help, is safe to say that this element stays above all. I have to put it in the S rank. While I don't really use Zhao that much, this element remains the top for just how fun it is. Kazuha is my favorite from here, just for grouping, double jump and his AoE ultimate. <laughs> Love it. Next on the list is the healer element, with some exceptions of course. The fluid force, Hydro. The element of water is mainly a source of making your enemies as wet as they can be. No pun intended. The longer you can keep their status, the better the other elements get. So yeah, it's a buffer element and that is how I use it as well. Kokomi, Furina, Yelan and yeah I know we went from healing to healing plus damage to just raw damage. But hear me out, except Tartalia which is designed to remain on field for longer, where will you use a low constellation Yelan, Furina to 1v on a flying robot dragon right? That's why I have to keep it a little lower so sorry for all the audience out there that loves Yelan or all the Tartalia mains out there but I have to go with E. I know, I know, this is just my opinion, it's not confidential material from Hoverse, don't worry. I still have to choose a favorite here, so I will go with Furina. She is one enjoyable unit to play just because of this. Low health? 
No problem. Take a break and just switch from offense to heal. Easy as that. And to watch a Pokemon fight while you enjoy a cup of tea and some cake is just satisfying. Alright, next up we have the Frozen Might, the AFK Warning and the Chilling Power of Cryo. These type of characters are masters of CC, with just straight up freezing an enemy if you can keep this freeze effect. But don't, don't forget, if you can keep this, it's just funny to watch when they can't do anything. However, there are not many reactions other than this one and the melt super contact isn't that useful for elemental prowess. With my team having just buffers, CC and a high damage dealer just devastates all kind of bosses or any hard content in this game. It's all about my main, the reason I started this game and the C6 goal of this journey, Ayaka, my favorite character in this entire game. You have power, skills, style points, a very weird community, but when you think about it, any character can be strong. But in itself, with the limited reaction and overall usability, Cryo doesn't stand that high. Everyone is chasing big numbers or sexy waifus while I'm just chasing fun. And for that, Cryo has to be put in D. Next we have, yes, the daddy lord, the lord of the contracts, the solid foundation, the power of earth, Geo. When you say Geo, I straight up think of one thing, defense. I stand there like a freaking lamppost waiting for the only car in the parking lot to hit me. With Zhongli being one of the strongest characters in terms of protecting your set characters, you can literally tank everything. However, the inusability with other elements makes Geo ridiculously bland. If you combine it with other elements, you'll get, well, more shield. Or you can be me and just booga booga your way through people or people's people with your sad lamppost like a freaking caveman. Love Ito. It's just so fun to just put your brain in a jar, pop your Bennett ult and boom boom at everything without a care in the world. See, I can find fun in everything. But because the lack of consistency, specialized content or interactability with the other elements i'm sorry but i have to put it all the way to the bottom of the list and last but not least we have the touch some grass magic the damage yourself with your own attack plant the untamed growth the element of nature dendro now dendro is literally the main reason i have to have a phd in literature and a master's in freaking reading a wall of text because this element is complicated to sum you up on what it does it burns like really burns people alive with the pyro combining it creates this boomy things that explode after some time although if you have nilo they just explode on contact so you don't have time to retreat or just find cover and the most important it gives electro a new leisure on life but overall it in itself it doesn't really stand out that much you have nahida with the link linking ability use a miko and a raiden plus a kokomi and you have a machine gun of numbers on the screen oh yeah electro makes this boomy thing that we mentioned earlier fly at the target don't forget but i'll have to put it in c Nahida is my favorite here just because it's so fun to link enemies together and then yoik tenkai to beat them in. After all, again, this, this tier list is purely my opinion. I use every element no matter the meta and I enjoy every character I have. And there you have it. We've ranked every element in Genshin Impact based on their strengths, weaknesses, overall usefulness, but most important, based on how fun they are. Remember, each element has its own unique playstyle and strengths, so it's important to experiment and find the one that you enjoy the most. Before we wrap up, don't forget to let me know in the comments which element is your favorite and why. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel for more exciting Genshin Impact content. Until next time!